hey, if it's Louise. So, this was going to be a much more exciting, jam-packed, funzo video. This is, <laughs> was going to be like the first one. I was going to do three videos about my lovely trip to Belfast. So the first one was supposed to be we went on a tour out and saw some like Game of Thrones filming locations. I went to the Giants Causeway and I took a load of footage and I put it on my external hard drive and it all got corrupted. So I'll just, uh, <laughs> I'll just run through it with you. There's no, there's no little videos for you. And I'm sorry. So this is just like a little, a little bonus guy. But that does mean that I now have to go back to Belfast so I can go again. So I can, uh, get that content baby uh, but yeah it was so good so first of all yes i went to belfast it was lovely never been to northern ireland before i've been to dublin a couple times but obviously different country uh really loved it so yeah the flight was about 45 minutes and then at the other side they have like an airport bus so you get on that i think it was like it's like 12 13 quid return so you like buy your ticket on your mobile and that was so that was so good as well it took about 50 minutes to get into belfast city center and then where we were staying it was about 15 minutes walk to our airbnb which was lovely we stayed in an area called botanic which is right by like the university in the botanic gardens it's quite like student a lot of, like nice bars and restaurants and stuff love that so yes first day <laughs> got there got us bearings i just bought a massive like two litre bottle of orange club my favorite drink and bought a load of tato my favorite crisps <laughs> and then i just did nothing so we got up the next day to go on a game of thrones filming location slash giants causeway slash some other stuff tour so it was like a coach tour we got on in the morning got driven around did some stops got some dinner bought some souvenirs wonderful time but the kicker is my partner booked the tickets and I was like, what time do I need to be there in the morning? And they said, oh, we leave Belfast at half nine. So we're just like chilling in the Airbnb. It's quarter to nine. We check the timings again. No, they leave Belfast at nine. Um, so <laughs> we had to quickly get all our stuff together, run. I was wearing jeans and like Doc Martin boots as well. So not a comfortable run for me, run to the city centre thankfully like big up irish tour tickets first of all because the tour was fantastic second of all your staff are amazing i was like panting and running got my big backpack on my, like a liter of water all my snacks like on the phone to this poor man uh, i believe it's called joe big up joe you are the bomb uh and he was like yeah we can wait for you for five minutes and five minutes only we made it at like 903 and then the driver was also really nice. Big up, driver Stuart. You are the bomb dot com. Uh, so yeah, apart from that, we got on, and I was just like wheezing for about ten minutes because, like, I do run, but I'm um, just not in jeans. And I had like leggings on underneath my jeans as well because it was really, really cold. Uh, and like a coat and a raincoat and a backpack. Like normally I just will run and I'm like wearing leggings and a t-shirt and I've got a little bottle of water and that's it. You know, it's different. And I'm usually wearing trainers. So yeah, that was annoying. Uh, <laughs> but also, honest mistake, it happens. We made it on time. It was lovely. So the tour. It was like £35 for the ticket uh, for each person. And you got like entry to all of these little places. And you got like, like VIP treatment at the Giants Causeway. So we went to the Dark Hedges, first of all, which was a Game of Thrones filming location. Uh, it's only in like one episode for about like 15 seconds as the King's Road. But that's, so, I, I just thought like when we got like got off the coach, I genuinely thought like, oh, it's just trees. Uh, <laughs> like it's just trees, but like they were so stunning. I did post some photos like on my Instagram because I don't have any footage for you and I'm sorry, but oh my God, they were so gorgeous. They're like 250, 300 year old trees. <sighs> they were so so gorgeous and we got a little a little fridge magnet from there Ooh, let me take you in the kitchen come walk with me come walk with me in the kitchen so we got a little magnet i don't want to bring it with me because um i thought like our uh, <laughs> our calendar that is 
being held up by it would fall down. So yeah, got this magnet made from one of the trees that was like sadly uprooted by a storm or something. Come walk with me through the house again. Do, do, do. Also, sorry if the lighting goes like funky, it's just start snowing. Uh, so yeah, we got that. And I thought that was like a nice little souvenir from the dark hedges. I don't remember a lot of the castles we went to because they're all like, all castles is the same. Uh, we got to see like Carrick Fergus Castle. That was nice. And apparently the loos that were like right next to it were award winning. So that's great. I love that. Uh, <laughs> we went for some dinner to this pub where it's like they have one of like the Game of Thrones doors. So to go back to the dark hedges, some of the trees had fallen down and they carved like wooden doors out of them and put like Game of Thrones like motifs on them. So this one had like the like Dothraki horses and the Targaryen dragons on them. P.S. Yes, I'm a thr throne, thrones -er. I do like Game of Thrones. The last season was, mm, but I like Game of Thrones. Our driver also like Game of Thrones and we're having a wonderful time. Uh, the pub also had a, a plastic replica of the Iron Throne. <laughs> so there was a picture on my Instagram story. I put pee pee on the uh, plastic iron throne and everyone was just looking at us like, like it's pee pee's holiday as well we love pee pee so yeah that was nice i had pint in there and it was delicious it was just really well needed um yeah there's some more castles i guess i don't know we saw some like we went to like this little village and it was like oh they used those steps in one scene of game of thrones they love Northern Ireland in Game of Thrones. They love it. And they love Game of Thrones in Northern Ireland as well. But yeah, so they filmed a lot of stuff in uh, Northern Ireland, which was very cool. There was like a jewelers around there as well that made like all the costume jewelry for the show. Very, very cool. It's brought a lot of money into Northern Ireland. And also when we were driving through, like driving through like the glens and like on the coast, it's like, you can see why they would choose it. It's stunning. It's so stunning. I would definitely do this tour again. But the best part, <sighs> Giant's Causeway, <sighs> it's so, so like, I see why it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is absolutely stunning, it's gorgeous, it's amazing, it's, it was breathtaking, and it stayed really nice all day, it was cold, and it was a little bit windy, but like, nice and sunny, it was clear, oh my god. It was so nice, even though I was really scared that I was gonna fall off when we were walking on them. I thought I was gonna fall in the sea. It's amazing that you can just walk on them. You can get in there for free. Cause it's a national trust, you can get in there for free. But um, yeah, we got to go in like the visitor center as well and go around the gift shop, which was fun. So yes, they were telling us uh, about the origin story of the Giant's Causeway. So our driver was saying, he was telling us the story. He was like, oh, there's the scientific explanation which is it's made from like volcanic activity, whatever. Or there's the true version, which was it was made by giants. And he said, very rightly, it's called the Giants Causeway, not the Science Causeway. Mic drop from Driver Stewart there. <laughs> See how we got to go. Uh, you could like self-guide or do like an audio tour or go with like a tour guide down like the, the little bit, the big path. What's this? My wiggly arm uh, to the causeway. So we did that. The tour guide, he loved his job. He was having the best time. He was having a wonderful time. And he was also telling us the story. Slight different variations on the giant story. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so it's just basically a rivalry between uh, Northern Irish giant Finn McCool and Scottish giant Ben Adana. Also, I think. Finn McCool would be a really good name if you're a drag king. So if ever I go into doing drag, I would be called Finn McCool. I think that's just a good name. <laughs> so yeah, it was made by giants, obviously, that were feuding. Who ever heard of a volcano in Northern Ireland? There's never been a volcano in Belfast. Of course, it was the giants. Uh, so yes, that was stunning. Please go if you ever get a chance, if you're ever in Northern Ireland. It is sensational. We had like two hours to look around there and it just wasn't enough. I could have just stayed there all day looking at the stuff. Like, there's so much wildlife and just like looking at all the hexagons. Like, how is that a natural formation? The world is beautiful. 
anyway, also the gift shop was great. They had, um, I wanted to get some of the candles that were like in the shape of the rocks, but we were struggling for room in our suitcase because we brought too many uh, jumpers and uh, cozy clothes because it was freezing. I got to myself a one little gift for myself. I like the gift bag. I love the hexagons. So I just got myself a little Giants Causeway pin badge. So I'm thinking I have up on the wall over here, you can't see them, but some like little like canvas pen pennants? Pennants? You know, like the little like, I don't know, but they've got some pins on them. So I'm thinking about amassing a collection of like souvenir pins like these guys and sticking them up there because I don't want to put them on a jacket or anything because I can't commit to that because what if I lose one? That'll make me really sad. But I'm thinking about having like a little souvenir pennant moment for my uh, my pin badges because I think that'd be a nice way to just be like, oh yeah, I remember when we went there. So yes, got this, very cute. And it was a whole £3.25, which I think is worth it because it goes towards the National Trust preserving the Giants Causeway. I love the Giants Causeway now. This is a Giants Causeway stan account. <laughs> So here's just a little little quick one for you. If you go to Ireland, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, not Ireland. If you go to Ireland as well, I don't know, you can probably do a Northern Irish tour. I'm sure I saw when I was in Dublin they were doing like Game of Thrones tours. But if you're in Northern Ireland, go do a tour. It was so good. We were on it for like nine hours and it was so fun i really enjoyed all the little like even if you don't like game of thrones it's like little fun things to like look at like the locations are just really beautiful on their own so you don't have to be like oh i remember this this was what's the one called pike i was like castle black it's not castle black if you don't know game of thrones you'd be like what you want about like oh yeah that's the castle that they base the pike iron islands one on my game of thrones knowledge is out the window i swear I've seen the show. <laughs> but yeah, they're just really nice things to look at. Also, Stand the Giants Causeway, it's the best. Hopefully my other two videos that I have planned, I'm not gonna corrupt the footage because I'm a dingbat. Uh, so they will be going up at some point shortly. I just need to finish filming some bits for them and editing them. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye guys.